Hello makers, today we're going to make this RFID jukebox. You can play songs by scanning these music cards. Let's get started. For this project, we will be using an ESP32 board. This will make it easier for us to use the RFID scanner module, which works on 3.3 volts. DF Mini MP3 player module with a micro SD card. An amplifier board. A small speaker. Some RFID cards. Now, Let's connect everything together. First, the RFID module. Make sure to connect the VCC to 3.3 volts and not 5 volts. Make all the other connections as shown on the screen. After the module is connected, we need to scan the cards and get their IDs. For this, open the scan cards project. Code link is in the description. Upload this project. Once uploaded, open the serial monitor. Your RFID module should initiate and show the firmware version. Then, start scanning the cards one by one. You will get the ID of the card. Copy and store this ID somewhere. I have also labeled the cards for easy identification. Once you have all the IDs, we can connect the rest of the modules. Next, connect the MP3 module. Connect the RX pin to pin 17 and TX to pin 16 of the ESP32. Next, let's connect the audio amplifier board. Connect the power pins and then the speaker pins to one of the ADC pins. Then, connect the speaker. Once all the connections are done, open the project. In the code, we need these libraries. The MFRC522 in the DF Robot DF Player Mini Library. Install them from the Library Manager. Next, add the card IDs that we copied earlier, here. You can add how many you like. Every corresponding ID will be linked to an MP3 file in the SD card. For instance, the first ID will play the first file, the second will play the second file, and so on. Next, plug in the SD card to your computer. In the root folder, create a folder called MP3. Inside that folder, store your MP3 files. These need to be named like this, as four digit numbers in order. Then put the SD card back. Let's power the project. Now every time we scan a card, it should play the song assigned to the card. Now that everything is working, we can put it inside a box.
I've stuck a white sheet on top to make it a little bit neater. Next, I've printed cover arts for the songs to go onto the cards. Let's see it in action. Comment if you have any questions, and as usual a like and subscribe would be amazing.